Hello, today Dougal and I are making the most of our time on mainland and we are here at Lee Davy Caravans of Maidstone. It's actually where we got our first caravan, our 1969 Tom Thompson. And what I thought we'd do is we'd do a few quick caravan tours just while we're here, try and get them under 10 minutes. Just to show you what you can get for your money in different parts of the market, different sectors. So we're going to start today with a really popular model. It's one that we haven't looked at on this channel yet, and it's Bailey's new Unicorn, Unicorn Series 5. We're going to look at the Cabrera, which is on a single axle with a double bed at the back. And without further ado, let's get started. Hey, Dougal. Yeah, let's get going. Okay, so here we are, the Bailey Unicorn 5 Cabrera, and this currently goes through the tills at £29,199. It has a shipping length of 7.34 metres, which is 24 foot 1 in old money, and its internal length is 6.07 metres, 19 foot 11, and a width of 2.26 meters that's seven foot five which is not an eight foot wide caravan this is going to be a bit of a nicer experience to tow while you're on the road now a word about the weights the empty plm the maximum weight of this caravan is 1600 kilos and is mro mass in running order which is with one kilo with one bottle of gas on board etc is 1439 kilos giving you a payload of 161 kilos that payload is not upgradable now you have to remember folks if you have a motor mover fitted a leisure battery and a second gas cylinder you've got to deduct 75 kilos from that 161 kilos you can't upgrade it remember and that's all you're going to have left for your personal effects as you can see it is really really smart very smart indeed. It comes with Alco ATC, which is a stabilizing system. So if it does start swaying on the motorway, it should get pulled back into line. No excuse for, for speeding though, I hasten to add. What's great, it's also on the roof. I can't quite get up there, folks. But on the roof, you've got an 80 watt solar panel and this is not only good for going off grid but also while the caravan is in storage a solar panel is going to preserve your leisure battery and batteries are not cheap these days and if you've got something running like a, well you've got a tracking you've got a tracker on here so it's going to keep the battery topped up and that is all good now one thing you'll notice with the new unicorn is this mahoosive new front window. I mean, it is just absolutely striking, isn't it? 50% bigger than the uh, previous incarnation. As I say, you've got a stabilizer hitch there as well. We've got heavy duty corner steadies. There are shock absorbers as well uh, to the wheels. Uh, there's an underslung spare wheel. And then you can also see here on the awning side we've got a barbecue point with the whale easy slide socket so it won't go flapping around on the motorway we've got an external electricity point so you've got a 13 amp socket there connected for your tv we've got a wet locker here so you've got somewhere to put your muddy boots which is right bang next to the door. Awesome. And then at the back of the caravan, we have a through locker. This locker goes all the way to the other side. So if you've got something long, you can put it all the way through. And yes, there is a door on the other side. And finally, let's have a look at the gas locker, which is on the other side of the caravan. So your gas locker is here, it's not at the front, it's at the side, which is far better for towing stability, it's close to the axle. 
Inside, the gas locker is 70 centimetres high and 30 centimetres deep. However, you can see there you've got the regulator sticking out a little bit and that only gives you 25 centimetres of depth before you hit the bulkhead. So there are your measurements in case you want to... Uh, it'll definitely fit a six kilo bottle, but you'd have to check on those measurements if you wanted to put anything larger inside there. So that's the exterior, folks. Now let's have a look inside this rather beautiful caravan. First of all, we can see as we go in, we've got a two-part door. Now I really like a two-part door, especially as a dog owner, because you can separate it. So you can close it off like that. You can keep Fido safely in the caravan and you've still got fresh air coming in with the door open like that. I really like that. However, do be aware, while there is a fly screen at the door, which is great, because of the bin on the back of the door, you can't have the fly screen closed if you've got the lower half of the door closed. So that's just something to be aware of. Now there's a shoe locker here as you come in, which is very useful. However, that's not so great. These exposed wires, I mean, really, these should be covered because if you're going to be throwing boots and shoes in here, I think Bailey, you could put a, put a, could have put a cover on that. Let's give you a quick look at the interior. Oh, it's ever so posh, isn't it? It's ever so posh. There we go. There's the front lounge, and then I'll give you a, give us a twirl, Anthea, give us a twirl. And then here is the rest of the caravan going through. So you've got a, a washroom in the middle and you've got the bedroom at the back. So let's come back to the lounge area. And if you don't like the upholstery, don't worry, there is an option. And this caravan is also fitted with a DAB radio, which has USB connector and Bluetooth, so you can play your sounds. Very nice and comfy. And you can see there's a little socket here. You see that 13 amp socket there. So if you're working at your laptop at the table here, you've got a little pull out table here. You can do that. The main table for the lounge is stored under the bed. So we'll have a quick look at that. So if you want to get the main table, you have to lift up the bed. Oh, and there's the main table. Now, of course, you'd have to bend over and get that out and put it back. It's not that heavy, but it's a bit of an awkward position to get into. I think you best get on your knees to get to the table. So, back to the front there. There is your main socket. Around here is where you'd have your TV. What's also great here is that there is a, a two gang USB socket. And Bailey have thoughtfully put a cover on it so you don't have that annoying blue light at night. One is one amp and one is 2.1 amps. So you do have a, if you've got a device that can take faster charging, that is great. You've got your above the TV point, you've got your socket, etc. There, this caravan has Alder central heating, so it's just like your radiators at home with the uh, here's your programmer there, and in the kitchen here, we've got a two gang socket there. And this folds up. That makes it, that's really neat. These drawers are, that's a short one because it's uh, under the sink. Soft close and you've got positive locking as well, if you so wish. The cooker here, it's got three gas burners and one mains burner so that also a mains hot plate so that if you are connected to a mains hookup 
you can make the most of that. Also, the great thing about a mains hot plate is if you are cooking something that needs a really low heat, a really low simmer, um, you can get a lower heat on the mains hot plate to simmer something than you can with the gas, which is a uh, something of note. And you've got a nice wine rack there to the side of the cooker. On this side of the kitchen, we've got a nice big fridge. Look at the size of that, huge. Plenty of room, a fairly sizable freezer compartment as well. That is very good. As we come through, you've got the door here to separate off the washroom, but it's got the kind of latch that failed on me in a motorhome a little while ago. And guess what? It's broken. Not great. Not great. We've got the shower compartment here. And that has got You can let, obviously, the fresh air can come out here and oh, got a tower rail there, which is brilliant. And then here on the other side, we've got your toilet with electric flush. There's your radiator for the central heating system, the ALDA central heating system. And fairly small sink. I mean, look at my hand. My hand nearly fills it there. Uh, window and a mirror for a hello. Sorry. And then there's no towel rail in here. So the only towel rail is that one in the uh, shower. And then finally into the bedroom. And you can see the bed has been pulled, pushed back to give you some extra space around to walk around here so what you would have to do is pull it out and it's just a simple it's just a simple pulling motion and that puts the bed out now to separate the bedroom from the washroom you've got this sliding door and it's a nice solid sliding door so you don't have to have whoever's in the bedroom watching you use the loo. When the bed is pulled out, folks, be aware, you do not have much space to wiggle round. Um, let me have a look. Let me see if I can do this. So let me see if I can show you. Um, it's not too bad, actually. It's not too bad. I can wiggle round. I mean, I don't have a huge bottom, but yeah, I can just about do it. Now then, while it's pulled out, this rear bed is 1.9 by 1.44 meters. That is six foot three long and four foot nine wide. You can see Bailey have done a really clever design here with the wardrobe. So they've got sort of this sort of effect that's actually going to maximize your hanging space. And then they've actually got a little cutaway at the bottom here. So you've got somewhere to put your cup of tea and your book at night, which is uh, a great idea. Also, if you look at the, the little light here, you can see that there is a USB socket here. And there is one in the light on the other side of the bed. Seems like a great idea, but you're actually gonna either have to put your device inside this locker here, or you're gonna have a lead trailing down into the uh, into that cubby hole there, which could end up going across your face, which is gonna be no fun whatsoever. We have a little socket there. For a hair dryer and you've also got a TV station here if you want a TV in the bedroom. And 
finally at the front there while we're on night time the front double makes up to be 1.93 by 1.31 meters which is six foot four by four foot three if you want single beds they are only going to be five foot nine long that's 1.75 meters long so there you have it there is the very beautiful bailey unicorn 5 cabrera Okay, folks, so I hope you enjoyed that quick tour of the Bailey Unicorn Cabrera. A huge thanks to Lee Davy Caravans of Maidstone in Kent for allowing us to have a look round. I'll leave links to Bailey and to Lee Davy in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you don't already. It just leaves me to say from Dougal and from me, thanks for tuning in. The did you like that one, Dougal? Oh, did you got? Oh, I think that one gets the Dougal lick of approval. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Although he never smiles. <laughs>